LSD, mushrooms, hallucinogens. From world-renowned authors and actors to influential artists, scientists, musicians, and tech titans, many touted as our time's most prolific of minds, admitting to dropping acid at least once. Reminiscent of the 1960s acid test, turn on, tune in, drop out counterculture. LSD is a really profound medicine in that it's very stimulating to the brain. It actually works with the serotonin receptor sites, so it's great for depression. It's great for stimulating creativity. You know, microdosing is, I find it fascinating. I find it completely interesting, but there are some drawbacks. Today's revelers are calling for a revolution in the dose. Usually one-tenth or less of what they would call a heroic dose. Once a novice, Trisha Eastman credits microdosing with saving her life. About almost five years ago, I was, was dealing with eating disorders. I was really, you know, sick. I had tried everything, a whole laundry list of different therapies, psychotherapy, and I really didn't feel like I got to the core of what the issues were. And now dedicates her life to microdosing by legally guiding and advising others on their conscious expanding journey. One of my friends is really into golf, and he started microdosing to improve his golf game. I have one actor specifically who has used different forms of microdosing dosing to increase his abilities to perform. We're in this instant gratification, pill-popping society where we're constantly looking to change ourselves, to get better, to be more improved by taking a substance rather than actually working on ourselves to get better. Though many specialists strongly disagree with today's remedy renaissance, you might have what I call a vulnerable brain. When you're vulnerable to a mental health disorder or to an addictive disorder and you are taking LSD or some type mescaline, you might manipulate your brain in a way that your brain is not prepared for. And it might worsen your sleep, it might worsen your anxiety, it might worsen your mood, you might be more prone to develop an addiction or to worsen your addiction. Still, supporters point to how far cannabis has come and move for microdosing to appear on the docket next. It's not the answer to all of your problems, 